Welcome back to Rugged Me. I'm Jared. How's it going, everybody? I'm Jake from Dude Ranch DIY. Well, we're back down here visiting Jake, and hopefully you saw the previous video where we brought this guy down. We got a chance to see Jake, a real tree professional, in action. Yeah, that was a lot of fun cutting down the tree, and now we're going to continue on with the evolution and uh, finish processing it up into firewood. All right, so walk us through it. So the first step would be, now that we got the pole on the ground, I, uh, I like to mark it up into 16 inch rounds. It's just easier when it's all in log form like this. So I personally like to use this thing. It's the Mingo marker, can of spray paint, and uh, this wheel is set to mark it at every 16 inches. Mm -hmm. So, um, you nope. know, why 16? Uh, so I like to do 16 because I sell firewood okay. and that's the most common, you know, length that people sell in. It's easy to measure out a cord. It fits in most people's stoves and fireplaces, solo stoves, stuff like that. Um, so 16 also works really well to fit into the IBC totes that I use Great. to uh, stack and store the firewood in. All right, well, we've got uh, an upcoming video where we'll be talking much more about that, but uh, all right, so 16 inches. Yeah, so this is pretty simple. It basically, you just pull back the wheel until it stops like so. I drew a little arrow on the end. You have the arrow right at the end of the log, and then you basically just walk down it. So here we are in the woodlot, and Jake, I gotta say, it's really come a long way since the last time we were here. Uh, I think folks who are following your channel, they've been seeing every installment as you walk them through all the, all the things you've done. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to Dude Ranch DIY yet, be sure to do that. Um, but for people who don't know the whole story, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, how we got to this point, because this is impressive. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when we bought the property, I had this vision of turning it into this you know, wood yard, being totally out of sight from both the road and the house, long road in and basically hit the ground running. If you guys watched the last video uh, with the Woodmax chipper, that basically chipped up all the trees going back here. I have videos making the whole wood yard. And I think the last time you were here, I had it cleared, but it was just still bare dirt. Yeah. Um, so then I brought in about 40, 45 triaxle loads of asphalt millings, dumped that all, spread it all. That was a pretty big undertaking. And now, you know, we have our working wood yard and, you know, it's always evolving. I'm always changing up the process, getting new equipment, trying to expand a little bit, but it's come a long way. Yeah, I mean, last time we were here, there was like this little window up through the trees, but now it's bigger. You know, we got the millings and might have some interesting things coming up uh, on that. We'll get to in a future video. Um, but I see our splitter, I see conveyor, we got trailer, all kinds of good stuff. So um, that's gonna be fun to play with. Yeah. Before we can do that, I think we got to wrap up our, uh, you know, topic of uh, bringing this tree down. Uh, we already got the marks on it. So what's the next step in this process? Yeah, so as you can see, I dropped the first log onto my makeshift, you know, bucking table station. High tech. Yeah, whatever you will. Um, you know, as opposed to cutting it on the ground, having to bend over, risking, you know, burying your bar in the dirt, or in this case, asphalt millings. Um, two simple logs that I chalked on either side. And I just put, you know, my logs down on top of it and buck them up. And then I simply push them off over here, kind of stage it here. And it's, you know, one seamless process. Um, you know, sometimes when I have another guy helping me, he's on the tractor pulling logs off, cutting them. 
simultaneously while I'm splitting. Um, so the conveyor helps in that aspect, just moving it away from the splitter and up into the dump trailer. So I think uh, we'll fire up the saw and get these logs bucked up. Yeah, I guess that's why I'm here, right? To help. <laughs> Well, we're coming to the end of our day. We covered a lot of ground. Uh, seeing you as a professional arborist, uh, kind of seeing the whole life cycle of uh, taking the trees down and bucking them up. Yeah, we went today, we ran the full gamut, you know, from standing tree to uh, split up in the trailer, yep. tree to trailer, if you will. And uh, it was a lot of fun getting to show you, you know, what I do from climbing and stuff and then having you back here in the wood yard for a second visit to, uh, you know, see the rugged made splitter in action. Yeah, so today was sort of, uh, this video is kind of part two. Uh, be sure to check out the first part where uh, Jake actually goes up in the tree, does all that cool stuff. Today we, uh, we uh, cut that tree up, we bucked it, uh, we did some splitting, got to see some of the, the new gear that Jake got here in the wood yard, uh, the conveyor, uh, he's got other cool videos about that, so check those out. Uh, but we also uh, are running a giveaway of a six-way blade and a few other stocking stuffers, so there is a video for that. Uh, check the link in the description, because uh, that's still running uh, until middle of December. Thanks for coming out. I really yeah. appreciated it. Yeah, this Great was visit. fun. And, and we do have more coming. We're gonna stick around down here in the Dude Ranch for uh, a little more time and gonna learn a little bit more about what Jake does uh, with his firewood business. Kind of, we'll just give you a little taste of that. Gonna talk a little bit about you know what it might take to run a business like that um, and some more tips on splitting wood. Awesome, so, look forward to it. All right, so stay tuned, thanks. <laughs>